Three-year-old Sarah Miranda looks like any other healthy little girl her age. But just after she was born, doctors gave her only one hour to live. She had um, IVs in her head. She had IVs in her arms. She had tubes on her. I was, I just cried over her. Jose and Svetlana Miranda were excited about the birth of their second child. But after a routine checkup at 39 weeks, doctors sent her straight to the hospital for an early delivery. So it was very difficult labor, but at the end, you know, the little Sarah was born, and that was a joyous moment. There's no greater joy than a father holding their child for the first time, especially your, your little girl. This is my second. But during labor and delivery, doctors discovered that both mother and daughter had contracted a deadly form of viral meningitis. Both developed high fevers. Here I am, healthy, and then I couldn't even get up and move. Soon, excruciating headaches, backaches, and convulsions racked Svetlana's body. Baby Sarah was suffering too. Meningitis in and of itself can be a life-threatening disease. It's an infection in the spinal fluid that surrounds the brain and the spinal cord. So when she was diagnosed with that is when her symptoms began to deteriorate. Doctors told Jose if baby Sarah and Svetlana's condition didn't improve, he could lose both his daughter and his wife. I felt like I was hit with a sledgehammer twice over, over, my, over my body. Words cannot in the natural express how a human being feels, especially a husband, unless you walk through this. Jose called his mother for prayer. She immediately, without skipping a beat, said, I am calling the 700 Club right now. That brought sense, a sense of hope, a breath of fresh air. And then it immediately came a, an intercessory prayer for my son, uh, for my daughter-in-law, for my grandbaby, and I knew in my spirit that that prayer went directly to heaven. Within days, Svetlana's fever went down and her condition improved. She and Jose were allowed to visit baby Sarah in the neonatal intensive care unit. After 14 days, Svetlana was released from the hospital, but baby Sarah remained in intensive care. Every day, they prayed healing scriptures over their little girl. I would just sit there repeatedly declaring them, Lord, I just thank you that Sarah's gonna live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. A week later, Sarah took a turn for the worse. She did, started to develop multi-organ system failure. Um, her, her condition deteriorated significantly. She, was, she ultimately had signs of liver failure, heart failure, and her meningitis. Adding together meningitis, hepatitis, and myocarditis, probably a 95% mortality in, in a newborn baby having all three of these organs involved with this infection. Doctors told Jose and Svetlana that baby Sarah had one hour to live. And it was during that time a nurse came and told us that her pH level was 6.6, .6, which basically from what I understand means the body is clinically considered dead. And we just didn't want to accept that fact. We began to take authority over the spirit of death, the spirit that was trying to attack her heart of death, her liver, her acidity level, her every, every part of her body. We began to speak the word of God. Friends and family members interceded for Sarah's healing. In just one hour, her condition began to improve. A nurse comes in again and she just stops and says, I don't know what you're doing, but keep doing what you're doing because your baby's pH level just normalized textbook, normal, perfect. And we just, we rejoiced, we rejoiced and we thank God. Test revealed Sarah's heart was responding to medication and all of her vitals were improving. Less than a week after Sarah was given one hour to live, she came home from the hospital completely well. We got to take her home and that she's healthy, that she's alive, that she just walked through this and that she's a miracle, that God literally rose her from the dead. We realized that and we just couldn't stop thanking the Lord for that. Specialists say that Sarah's sight, 
Hearing and brain functions are all above average. In fact, her heart looks like nothing was ever wrong with it. Dr. Anderson is amazed at how healthy Sarah is. It is like a miracle that she looks as good and as healthy and strong as she is today, knowing what she had as a newborn. It's a combination of medicine and faith that, that it brings Sarah to appear the way she does today. Today, Sarah is four years old and it's doing just great. I love Jesus this much. She is the, the bubbliest, happiest, joyful girl. And Jose and I, we always say, she has a reason to be joyful. God gave us medicine and God gave us prayer and faith in Him. God is real.